Today, I'm going to show you five registry hacks that will change the look and feel of Windows 11. And also, stay tuned to the end of the video because I have a bonus hack for you that you're really not going to want to miss. In our ongoing series of customizing Windows, I thought it would be cool to do some registry hacks that allow you to modify the look and feel of Windows 11 without installing any programs. These are built-in modifications to the Windows 11 UI that we simply don't have a way to take advantage of outside of the registry. So, we're going to have to roll up our sleeves and dig into the registry in order to change these settings. But you know what? When I got the idea to make this video, I thought we would just do a single video with as many cool registry hacks as I could find. Unfortunately, I found way more than I thought I would. So because of that, this video is going to be split into two parts. So today's video is going to be the first five registry hacks. And next week, we're going to cover the other five. And like I said earlier, make sure to watch the whole video too because there's a bonus hack at the end of the video that you're really not going to want to miss. And you know what? To be honest with you, between you and me, the bonus is probably the best one. So let's get to it. Okay, so the very first thing that we want to do before we start messing with the registry is to set up a system restore point. And this is really important because when you're making registry changes, it's really easy to completely mess your system up. And if that happens, it's always nice to be able to recover from it through a restore point. So to do that, just go ahead and click on your start menu and type in restore and then select right here, create a restore point. And then from here, you want to go down to this button right here where it says create. Click on create. And you know what? For mine, I'm just going to write reg hacks and then push the create button. And that's all it takes. And I just want to reiterate that it's extremely important that you set up a system restore point because if you mess something up and your system doesn't function the way you want it to, it's always easy just to run system restore and go back to the way it was. And you know what? I'm going to tell you right now that if you post in the comments that something got messed up and you need help fixing it, the first question I'm going to ask you is, did you set up a restore point? So make sure you follow that step. Now let's get to some of the hacks. Okay, so once this is done, we can just go ahead and click close, hit OK, and then we can go on to our very first hack here. And what that's going to be is disabling the dynamic search box. Now, if you come down here and you click on search, you'll notice that the search is about Brazilian Independence Day. And, you know, I'm glad it's your Independence Day, Brazil, but... I don't really care and I don't really want this inside of my search results. So if you want to get rid of this, it's really easy. What you do, go ahead and click on your start menu, type in reg edit, open it up, go ahead and click yes. And then in the registry editor, what you're going to want to do is go to the current user, then go to software, then Microsoft, then go to windows. You're going to have to scroll down a little bit here and find windows. And then go to current version, which should be right here at the top. And then scroll down to search settings. And all this is in alphabetical order. So just find search settings and open it up. So what we want to do is create a new D word value here. And to do that, go ahead and go to the white area here. Right click, go to new, select D word 32 bit value. And then from there, I'm just going to go ahead and paste this in to make it a little bit easier. But I'm going to go ahead and print on the screen right now what you need to enter in. And it says, is dynamic search box enabled? And then once you create that value, go ahead and open it up. And then you can set this two different ways, either to zero or one. Zero disables the dynamic search box or one enables it. So we want it disabled. So we're going to go ahead and hit zero. We're going to hit OK. And then once we come down to search and we click on the search icon, no more Brazilian Independence Day. I think this is a really cool setting because to be honest with you, the dynamic search box is something fairly new and it's been added to Windows 10 as well. And typically it's about stuff that I'm usually not interested in and I'd rather it not be part of my desktop. So it's nice to be able to turn it off. And I'm going to have to test the setting in Windows 10. If you guys end up doing that, then mention it in the comments below and let me know if it works. Okay, so the next setting that we're going to do now is we're going to remove Bing from the start menu altogether. And what you can do is if you click on the start button and you go to search for something, like let's just say we want to search for fast food. And if you look here, you actually get a Bing search result in your search menu. And to be perfectly honest with you, 
I would rather search just be within Windows. I mean, it's bad enough that they always use Bing. You can't change the default search for this section right here. So let me show you how to get rid of it. And to do that, we're gonna go back to our registry settings here. We're gonna scroll up and we're gonna go ahead and minimize most of this. We're gonna be in current user and then we're gonna to wanna to go to software. And then from software, we wanna select policies at this point. So we're gonna to go to policies and then we're gonna to go to Microsoft and then we're gonna select Windows. And then from here, we need to add a key here. And we're gonna go ahead and right click, hit new key. And then for that key, we wanna name it Explorer. And then once we're in that key, we need to create a D word value. And just like before, you just right click, hit new, D word 32 bit value. And then that value is gonna be disable search box suggestions. And I'm gonna go ahead and have that printed on the screen. Make sure as you're following these that you use the same case that I'm using. So as you can see here, the way that this word is capitalized, even though there's no spaces, make sure you capitalize the correct words in here because it has to be exactly like I type it in here. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is open up this and change the value to one and then hit OK. Now to get this one to actually take, we're gonna have to restart Explorer. So we come down here, go ahead and right click on your Start button, select your Task Manager, and then from Task Manager, you wanna scroll all the way down until you find Windows Explorer. And then from there, just push the Restart button, and that should restart your desktop. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on our Start button again, and we're gonna search for fast food again. And as you can see, no more web search at all. This is just local search at this point. And as you can see, all web search is completely disabled now from within the Windows search. It's only gonna search for programs and documents that you have on your computer. You know, the way search should work from the beginning. Honestly, if I wanna search for something on the web, I'll open a browser, but thanks anyway, Microsoft. Okay, so the next one here is one that may not affect a lot of people, but if you have a system that isn't supported in Windows 11, but you're running Windows 11, this one may come in handy in the future, and that is the bypassing TPM and CPU checks for Windows Update. So we got to go back a little bit here in the registry. I'm going to go ahead and minimize some of these folders here, and then where we want to go is we want to go all the way back to local machine, and then from there, we're going to go into system, and then we're going to go into setup, and then from setup, we wanna go into Mo Setup. So we're gonna scroll down here until we find it. There's Mo Setup right there. And like before, we wanna add another D word here. And what that's gonna be, we're gonna right click, we're gonna hit new, go D word, 32-bit value. And then this one here is going to be allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. And again, make sure that this is typed out exactly like it shows right here. And it should be printed on the screen. So go ahead and look on the screen, pause it if you need to, and copy that down. And then from there, this can be set to one of two values. If you set the value to zero, then it won't allow you to upgrade if you have an unsupported CPU or TPM disabled. But if you set this right here to one, then it will allow you to upgrade if you're running a system that has an unsupported CPU or you don't support TPM. Now, I don't know for an absolute fact if this is gonna be the case, but if you're running Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, you've probably noticed by now that the updates work fine. There's really no downside to, other than you have maybe a computer that's a little bit slower than one that would fit the hardware requirements. However, when Microsoft comes out with its next big build update, I think that's when it plans on denying updates to people with unsupported hardware. And when that happens, Hopefully this registry key will help us to get around it, but if not, then I'll have to make another video. Hopefully that one won't get removed too, but let's get back to it. Okay, so the next one is gonna be a really cool hack, especially for people that kinda of wanna change the way the taskbar looks, because you know we don't have a lot of control over how the taskbar looks anymore within Windows 11. So the way we're gonna do this, I'm gonna go ahead and minimize some of these folders here, and we're gonna go back up to current user. And then from current user, we wanna go into software, and then Microsoft, and then Windows. So we're gonna to to scroll down a little bit until we find Windows. There's Windows there. And then we're gonna to have to go to current version, which we have open right here. Then we're gonna to wanna to go to Explorer, which is gonna be right here, and then open Explorer up, and then go to Advanced. 
right here. And then from here, we need to add another D word value. And as you can see, there's a lot of them in this one right here. And that D word value is gonna be taskbar SI. So you're gonna right click here, hit new. We're gonna go D word 32 bit value. And then you're gonna to wanna to type in taskbar SI with this same capitalization that I'm using right here. Now, the purpose for this particular value right here is to change the size of the icons in the Windows 11 taskbar. And as you can see right now, they're medium size icons. We can either make those icons a lot bigger or we can make them a lot smaller. And the way to do that would be to open this up here and to change this value to either zero, one, or two, depending on what size you want the taskbar icons to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at zero, which would be the smallest. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay, leave that at zero. We're gonna go back over to our task manager here and we're gonna restart Explorer. And then once we restart Explorer, as you can see, my taskbar icons are really small now. However, you can see it kind of messed up the way the weather is displayed here as well as the way the clock is displayed. So the small icons you know, don't really work that great, but if you go back over here, open up taskbar SI and change this to two, then we're gonna go back and we're gonna restart Explorer again. And as you can see now, I've got huge icons on my taskbar. So depending on how you want this to work, this could come in really handy. But you know, I'm gonna set mine to default, which would be one. We're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna restart Explorer again. And that's the size of the icons come at default. But you set it to whichever one that you like. But while we're messing with the taskbar, there's another one that we can mess around with too. So this one's not gonna be under advanced. This one here, we can go ahead and close advanced. We wanna go down to stuck reacts three right here. And then we have right here where it says settings. Now what this is gonna do is change the position of the taskbar. And this is a setting that a lot of people have been complaining about, wanting to move the taskbar to the top or the left or the right. And you can do that from here. And the way that you do that is go ahead and double click on settings. And then from settings, you essentially have this binary value right here. But the one we're looking at is right underneath FE. So it's this number right here. Right now it's set at three. And three indicates the bottom of the screen. So if we want it at the top of the screen, we would change this one to 01. And we'll go ahead and hit okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and restart Explorer now. And as you can see, now the taskbar shows up at the top of the screen. Unfortunately, if you hit the start button, it kind of moves to the right a little bit. So this one's kind of tweaked out a little bit. It doesn't work exactly how you'd want it to. And also you are able to change this to the left and right as well. But if you do that, let me show you what happens real quick. So I'm just gonna hit zero, zero, and that's for the left side. Then we're gonna go back over to Task Manager. We're going to scroll down to File Explorer, hit Restart, and you can see the taskbar is now on the left side, but it's irreparably broken. You can't actually use it there. So as you can see, you can change the position of the taskbar. It just doesn't work as great as you'd like it to. Unfortunately, moving it to the left or right simply breaks the taskbar, it doesn't work. Moving it to the top works, but the start menu is left justified, which is probably fine to you. If you wanna move all your icons to the left, you can do that through settings, and then it kinda of makes it look a little bit more natural. But, you know, if you want the center mounted start menu, then you have to have the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. But at least you have the option to move it wherever you want. Whether it works, that's another story. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and change this again real quick, and I'm gonna go back over to the FE line, and I'm gonna change this one to 03 to put the taskbar back at the bottom of the screen. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead to go to Windows Explorer and hit Restart, and our Start menu shows up at the bottom of the screen again. So there you go. There's five registry hacks for Windows 11, but I promised you a bonus hack, and I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the best one that we've done through the whole video. And that's changing the Windows 11 context menu back to the old one we had in Windows 10 and getting rid of that stupid context menu that they stuck us with with Windows 11. You can't tell, I really hate that context menu. Anyway, let me show you how to do it. Okay, so this isn't too hard. What you do here, we're gonna go ahead and go back and Go back all the way up to the top here. And then what we wanna change is we wanna go into current user. We wanna go into software. And then from software, we wanna go into classes. And that's gonna be right here. And then we wanna go into CLS ID. So we're gonna have to scroll down quite a bit here in order to find this, but it's all alphabetical. So just go in order. 
and look for right here, CLS ID, and then open that up and you should have essentially a bunch of gibberish in here. And this is where this one gets a little bit difficult, but if you follow these instructions, it should work. Hopefully it'll work for you. And what we want to do is we want to create another key here. And this key, keep in mind, this is extremely important to get it exactly right. So make sure you copy it exactly the way that I type it out here. But this key is going to be right here. And I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and print it on the screen too so you can see it a little bit bigger. But make sure to copy it exactly how you see it here. And unfortunately, I'm not going to read it out. It's just a long string of numbers, but this indicates the specific setting that we're wanting to make. So it has to be exactly like you see it right here. So go ahead and pause the video real quick and take a look at this copy it down and then go ahead and enter it into your registry and once you have that entered into your registry you're going to want to make another key now and that key is going to be off of the one that we just made so we're going to hit new key and then go ahead and type in in proc server 32 i don't know how to pronounce that it's going to be on the screen go ahead and copy it down and like before go ahead and enter it exactly how you see it and before we go to the next step, I just want to show you right here. If you right click on anything in Windows, you get this stupid context menu that nobody likes. And then if you hit show more options, this is the one that everybody actually wants. But you have to do an extra click. You have to hit show more options in order to see this. And you know, that's kind of annoying. So what we're going to do is go into that last key you made, click on the default right here, and don't change anything. Go ahead and leave it blank and just hit OK. And you'll notice the data value blanks out, so there's nothing in that right now and then to activate this right here you might have to restart Explorer again so go ahead and click on Windows Explorer from your task manager hit restart and then from there go ahead and right click on your menu and there you go the old-fashioned context menu like you're used to seeing in Windows 7 Windows 10 and every other version of Windows until Microsoft decided to destroy it in Windows 11 as you can see there's lots of really cool hacks that you can do in Windows 11 and you know I'm not sure why Microsoft didn't include a way to turn these on or off from within settings, but it's nice that we at least have a way to do it through the registry. Tell me below in the comments which one of these hacks was your favorite. You already know mine was the bonus, but if you'd like to see more videos on customizing Windows, then check out this playlist and you can watch the entire series as they come out. You guys have a great day.